the chairman of bar council of india has apparently written to the honorable chief justice of india to do away to stop the virtual hearing that is uh, the hearing of cases through video conferencing immediately after lockdown is withdrawn the reason he has cited is that 90% of the advocates in india and the judges are not technologically equipped they lack the knowledge of technology to adopt uh, to virtual hearing system this is the reason the chairman of uh, bar council has submitted uh, in his letter to the chief justice however according to me that too with the backlog of uh, over 3 crore cases across the country which is pending to be adjudicated such being uh, the huge backlog of uh, cases and with uh, the number of judges and lawyers are limited so going this way the 3 crore and odd cases that is pending will only multiply and will not come down we must think that uh, the effect of covid 19 is one way blessing in disguise it has given an opportunity to use the technology according to me most of the lawyers and judges in india are technically equipped because you see this is not a technological marvel or something it's not a space science that we must uh, adopt to virtual hearing is a very simple process only the court desks and the office desk should actually resemble the preparedness of the advocate inside the court and at his office has to be same his preparation to the case has to be same otherwise the virtual hearing will positively help and radically reduce the burden of cases the burden of backlogs so it can be quicker so the use of technology has to be encouraged especially in the age of science and technology today every lawyer and the judges are equipped with their mobile phones with this 4g data which is quite sufficient for video conferencing so therefore now because already there is a virtual hearing has taken up this should not be stopped in any way of course there may be some there are some initial difficulties the teething problems are anyway there so reference uh, to the case files and uh, the in depth study of sections and possibility of uh, delay in time of presentations of arguments such things there are teething problem that needs to be overcome so therefore according to me the bar council of india should in fact encourage the lawyers and the courts to adopt to virtual hearing so that is quick swift and fast it makes uh, the court and the advocates to work quickly swiftly and fast so therefore you know filing of cases in the soft copy and uh, you know the arguments the presentation of arguments written statements and every procedure every court procedure through soft copy must be encouraged and including the arguments the submissions must be encouraged to be done uh, through video conference already when we see in the magistrate courts uh, when uh, the executive that is the police are not unable to they are unable to produce uh, the under trials and criminals there is a video conference which is already going on so this is only an extension in fact uh, this virtual hearing will reduce uh, the corrupt attitude the corruption within uh, the the system so there will be transparency and uh, the tag of a star advocacy will go so therefore uh, instead of opposing and instead of a uh, you know, writing letter to the chief justice of india to withdraw the virtual hearing 
the bar council of india i request through this video to once again give a thought about it because in the we must develop as the technology the science and technology the age of science and technology and uh, we lawyers and the judges must be quite equipped already we are equipped in the, even in the personal lives uh, uh, people uh, speak through whatsapp uh, video conferencing uh, so many uh, you know applications which are already available people are communicating to each other the same thing with little discipline and principle and system if adopted uh, by the advocates this will take us a long way in adjudicating huge backlog of cases so the time the consumption of time radically decreases therefore the productivity increases so therefore the thought must be given by the entire community of lawyers and the judges in this regard so anyway this covid has has come as a disguise you know this is one of the benefits that can be reaped now already we are into the system the supreme court and high courts are now hearing the virtual virtual hearing of important cases in fact this must continue and it should be extended so in case wherever there is a necessity of lawyers to acquaint themselves with the the technological uh, procedures so they must be trained parallelly they must be trained so the teething period problems will be solved and in fact that will become a radical step in order to bring in transparency in order to cope up with the pressure of increasing cases and also in order to clear the backlog so therefore let the bar council of india give a need clear thought once again and i request on behalf of all the lawyers whoever are interested to bring in a virtual hearing that is uh, the hearing uh, through video conferences to the bar council of india to think once again and to take a a fair decision and to any decision that is thus taken by the bar council of india all of us are committed whether yes or no